All right, folks, what is going on? This is episode 404 of the First of Frame Rate Show. I am VF Baller, and today we're going to talk about a particular uh, tight end for the Atlanta Falcons. I want to get your thoughts and opinions while I give my thoughts and opinions. Uh, we're going to revisit Mr. Felipe Frank's transition to tight end. Now, all the way back in episode 363, I talked about this uh, transition for Felipe Franks and. Um, I know a lot of people said that it was going to be somewhat of a last resort for for, for, for little. I can't even say that right. Last resort for Felipe Franks and saying he was going to probably get cut. But after watching a few of these clips of him in practice or in training camp, I'm starting to warm up to this a little bit. I mean, I think it was going to be pretty cool as far as, you know, him and his size being on the field, being a decoy. But from the way things looking, this looks like he can actually be an asset. So enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead and uh, start the show off. If this is your first time here, welcome to the First of Frame Rate Show. I am VF Baller. Over here, we talk about George Southern Atlanta Falcons football. Um, I can be found on Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Also, um, on the visual side, I'm on YouTube and Rumble. Thank you guys for the support. I mean, I, I cannot thank you guys enough. You guys are amazing. Now, let's go just jump right into this because, like I said, the last episode I did on this topic, I was a little more optimistic. I thought that this could be something that could be a, a you know, a reality because I think Felipe runs a four five, and I think he's at at six foot six or six five or something like that. He's a big, pretty big target. Um hands or no hands with Kyle Pitts being out there I thought this was going to be something that could be really um you know beneficial for Kyle Pitts because he could be a decoy but there's been a lot of plays ran through Felipe Franks throughout training camp and he looks like he's doing pretty good I mean you can go on the timeline um of uh Mr. Kevin Knight uh or whatever the case may be or just type in Felipe Franks when it comes to um the you know the search engine on twitter and there's a lot of clips of felipe franks actually running routes catching balls and and looking pretty crisp now i know a lot of people say yeah this is training camp like it doesn't matter but there are things that ran through felipe franks for a reason like i said or, or any player for that matter i mean they're going to put things together for certain players throughout training camp just to see what they can do what they can and can't do and felipe franks for all of his purposes look like he's been impressing you know uh a lot of people even the media i mean we just talked about another episode where we were talking about some positive things from the media and this is one of them desmond ritter uh marcus mariota uh, throwing the ball to felipe franks and he's actually looking good he actually running routes he's looking pretty decent all the way up to where some of the linebackers are losing you know coverage because he's actually moving the ball and well, he's moving uh, up and down the field and catching the ball. Um, so what does this mean? Does this, is this a situation where Felipe Franks is actually make the team? Is this a situation, uh, make the team as a tight end? Is he already um, a lock on the team? Just going to be uh, a tight end and emergency quarterback. I mean, what are we doing here? What does this really mean? Does this mean that, Desmond, I mean not Desmond Ritter, but does this mean that Felipe Franks and you know a guy who already proved himself, Kyle Pitts, are they going to be a duo as far as the tight ends go? Now, when you look at the situation with uh, Arthur Smith, he likes to run two tight end sets, and um, I, I've been saying this. I said this on other people's shows, and I was on their show. Um, if you got another guy that's six five that's out there catching the ball, it's either gonna be a bunch of jump balls or pass interferences. I mean, there I, I I've met not met one uh secondary right now who can handle four or five guys that are over six four that are gonna be running up and down the field. I, I've yet to see it. If anybody can point me in that direction, I will go there and I will commend you. But I haven't yet to see it. But does this really mean it's gonna make results? Not necessarily. I'm not gonna sit here and jump on the hype train for Felipe Franks. I'm more starting to warm up to the fact that this could be a really good, uh, a really, you know, a good thing. And this could be a, a real situation, but I'm not going to sit here and automatically say this, these two guys are going to be, you know, the one, two tight end, you know, uh, punch that the Falcons need is a possibility. And, um, looking at what I see on the, on the Twitter, 
in uh, in the clips from a lot of people i'm actually you know warming up to this like i said i'm warming up to it i think this is going to be um something that the falcons can use when it comes to actual uh weaponry on the on the offensive side of the ball uh I'm I'm just impressed, it, it, but it, it also always goes back to Arthur Smith. Like, does Arthur Smith know what he's doing? Um, is this a move that Arthur Smith wanted to look into? Because you know you still got Anthony Fersker, and um, I think you, I can't remember the other person that's on, that's on tight end for the um, Falcons. But when you have guys that are there that you know pretty much um, established the position, played it a long time, it doesn't bode well for. Felipe Franks, even if he's looking good in training camp. You have to understand he's a tight end. His brother played tight end, but he's a quarterback. You know, and 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 how does that how does that play out at the end of the day? I'm like, eh, I don't know. But he's actually looking pretty good. So um right now, Arthur Smith and is looking like a genius right now when it comes to moving Felipe Franks over there. You go back to my last episode in 363. I don't remember what exactly what I said. I know I was probably more positive laced than anything because i like to be more upbeat when it comes to the falcons or george southern i'm the type of person to really like look at the glass half full so i was a little more um you know a little more optimistic a little more positive side but i know there's a lot of people that watched this show were more like yeah this is a last resort he's probably gonna get cut excuse me he's probably gonna get cut um he's just doing whatever he can to make the team well if this is something that he's doing to make the team, I commend him because for, and to an extent, he's looking pretty good. Um, you also have to understand you're going to have guys like Go, um, Alden Tate. Uh, you got Cordell Patterson, Kyle Pitts. You're going to have a lot of tall guys running down the field to catch the football. This could be a nightmare for a lot of uh, a lot of teams. You know, a lot of teams hope and pray they can get one lockdown corner. I mean, the Falcons got one with AJ Terrell, but that one, ooh, excuse me, it's just been a long day. But um, uh, with that one lockdown corner just can't cover everybody. It's just not going to happen. So, with that being said, like, is this really a good move for um for the Falcons? Is this going to be a really good move for them? Can uh, Felipe Franks continue to step up to the plate to actually, you know, make a difference and make the roster as a tight end? I'm starting to warm up to that a little bit more. I'm starting to think that this could be a reality. And and I, I, I for the most part, I think I'm here for it. I, 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 you know, I just don't know. It's like when you look at the league, the league is a passing league. We also have to understand that as well. And as a passing league, you want guys that are big physical targets that can move. And it looks like this is what they're trying to do. You know, like I said, all the other guys I named, the the the, the Alden Taste, the uh oh man, uh, Cordell Patterson, you got uh Kyle Pitts, now you got Felipe Franks is possibly gonna be in the mix. I mean, Alden Tate, I think I just mentioned him, but you got so many guys. Even Zacchaeus, he's not one of the big guys that are big physical guys. He's more of a um he's more of a, a slot guy. But this bodes well for the team. We didn't have any receivers last year. And you know what, during this entire time, I haven't even mentioned Drake London yet. So so it just it just goes to show you when you look at all these players, like it's insane what we could possibly be like. You know, Another guy, Jared Benkart, I think that's his name. Uh, Jared, I saw him. Let me see if I can pull this up right now. Uh, I talked about it on my Twitter feed. Um, yeah, there it is. Jared Bernhardt, this is another guy that could probably play slot. I mean, he's extremely fast, short, uh, small, shifty receiver. I mean, we're we're probably looking in a, in a situation where I, I don't know. I, I I just don't know. I, I, the more I think about it, we're looking at a we we possibly have a very explosive offense. Now I know it's going to add up to what the offensive line can do to protect and what the quarterback that we have going to do can they throw the ball around. But I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, this may be something. You know, compared to what we had last year with Russell Gage being our number one guy, 
to what we have today is a huge improvement. He, absolutely huge improvement. You know, I, I mean, I don't, I don't see what we're looking at now. I mean, Calvin really still on the, he's still on the contract for one more year. And there's already talks that, you know, people like Cordell Patterson really wants him to return. It's just going to get more and more and more explosive. And I, and I mean, that's just if Calvin really wants to come back and play. And if he does, I mean, do you want to play on a high level that he did that one year when he caught over a thousand yards? It's like we got so many weapons and we haven't even touched the surface with the running game and, and what the offensive line improve. Um, does this mean that the defense is bad? I don't know. Um, but the way Dean, Dean Pease is talking, it seems like the defense is actually working really hard to 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 actually be a, a stout defense. And if they're trying to work hard to get it and be that way, there's only two things that I'm trying to say that, that could be an issue. One, the defense is really, really bad because they're giving it all and getting burnt by all these other players. Or two, the offense is just extremely good. I mean, take your pick. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just something to think about. I don't have much else to say on this topic. I just want to want your guys' thoughts and opinions on them. You know, um, Felipe Franks revisited. You know, what does that mean? You know, his transition to tight end, we revisited. And it looks like this may be, it may be some meat on this bone. You know, it, 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 may, be some, it may be something here. It may be, be some battery. It may be some working batteries in the flashlight. You know what I'm saying? So we, we might have something here. Don't ask how I came up with that analogy. It, it's it's it don't don't worry about that. <laughs> That's crazy. If you like this commentary, hit the like button, share this commentary, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm on Anchor Stitch, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Not much to really say on this episode. It's a little bit shorter than um I usually do between I try to do between 15 and 20 minutes, but hey, few minutes early. It is what it is. I hope you guys enjoy your Wednesday. It is hump day. We're gonna get closer to the weekend and that's just one more weekend that we're closer to having football man i can't thank you guys enough man give me a five star rating on the apple star chart let people know what i'm doing over here also give me some feedback if you want to you know have anything that you want to be uh different some things that i may done right or wrong or whatever the case may be let a brother know all right y'all i'm going to get out of here enjoy your wednesday be blessed be safe and i will see you guys on thursday with more content you guys take it easy and you guys be blessed. Peace.